Hello. On this video, I'd like to show you how to use the laser engraving plugin from UCCNC. Uh, okay, the first thing is to activate the plugin. Um, by default, the Stepcraft laser profile have the plugin activated. So every time you load the, um, the software, you can see the um, the plugin here. If you don't see it, you need to go to the configuration, configure plugins, and you can see all the plugins here. And the laser, this is the one, you need to enable the the plugin if it's not enabled. And uh, then you need to save your settings and rest restart the software. If you want, you can call it at startup, so every time you open the screen it will show you the um, the plugin. If you don't, you, d uh, you don't have to, but it's good to have it enabled in case you you use it. Mm, okay, that's how you enable the laser plugin. Okay, now let me explain you a few things about the laser plugin. I have right now an image loaded uh, here that I, I really load this image to explain you uh, how <coughs> how the laser plugin is, uh, is going to be adjusted. The first thing that um, you need to know is that the laser it acts different on different materials. So it's very important to make a test before you try to to engrave something uh, on your material because you need to find the the precise uh, harmony between this value this value and the fit rate why okay the minimum value is what's the minimum value the laser is going to use to um, engrave light uh, colors so that's the minimum uh, for example this is minimum it's, it's zero the maximum value is going to be 100 so it means it's going to burn completely and it's going to be dark so you can change these values and, and create a harmony between these two to to obtain a perfect degraded between black and white that's what we want and that's why uh, i'm going to use this image as my test image if I can obtain this same image on my material, then any image that I put here is going to be perfect. Um, okay, regarding the options, the feed rate is very important because if you use a larger feed rate, that means the laser is going to move faster. And therefore, uh, if the laser is moving faster, it's the, um, the beam is going to be less uh, on less contact with the material. and uh, the material is not going to burn enough. Uh, on the contrary, if the feed rate is very slow, it's going to burn everything, no matter if the minimum value is slow. So it's important to find a perfect value here. Now, another thing that uh, we face with this plugin is that uh, the laser have a small delay between the on and off. Uh, instructions. So when the laser starts moving from left to right and change direction, uh, a small delay happens. So when uh, when you have a, a fast feed rate, you can see an offset between the lines of the uh, uh, laser. That's because of this that small delay. If you reduce the feed rate. Uh, you can see less and less of that uh, offset. This is something that is going to be fixed on newer versions of UCC and C. Uh, we ask to the developer to to keep in mind the, this small delay, and he is looking for a fix for uh, that delay and to avoid the the offsets with high uh, feed rates. But at the moment, if you if you uh, find a good feed rate you can you can find that the uh, offset is is not noticeable I, um, and also if you are doing uh, large pictures you're that you are going to see from far away 
then this this subset is not that important uh, unless you are going to see it from very close uh, okay so the first thing that I need to adjust is my laser so as you can see it I have it on my um, on top of my material I activate the um, the sensor let me put it all the way down there so I'm going to press the probe button so it will find the the zero height for my material there okay now I can set up my zero with this you can see the pointer and let's start making tests okay this material is MDF and uh, you will see how how it works so first uh, on the laser plugin you can see this image uh, I'm going to load it again I'm going to put this image on there uh, along with the instructions so you can have it you can see that the units here it's almost 10 by 10 this this unit is millimeters uh, if I change one of these uh, and I s have this uh, selected the keep aspect radio uh, the image won't be distorted if I want to change the size I'm gonna leave it like that one uh, <coughs> 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters the scan distance unit this is important because this is the um, uh, the length of each the not the length the um, thickness of each line uh, that the laser does so this is about the laser width uh, the laser beam width so keeping this value is good so you can have a very nice uh, engraving now the feed rate as I mentioned you uh, it depends on the material this is super important this is this is going to depend all over the and um, on the material and of course these settings so let's let's start this with um, I'm gonna put this on zero. Uh, uh, how about that zero and one hundred. And I'm going to use a feed rate. Let's start with um, let's say one thousand. So fifteen divided by sixteen. okay and if you can see the processing time is going to be 45 41 seconds also this is the origin point uh, of my work from the current position of the laser okay so first i need to set zero set zero on x and y because I already have my zero on um, on C. That's the one that I found with the um, with the sensor. Okay, so I can press go to zero. There, I'm going to start from the bottom. Mm, now let's say from the top. Let me move the laser a little to the back. Let me adjust the mm. camera, the camera angle. There. So I create the code and send it to the UCNC. And now the code is here. I can press cycle start, and it's going to start the square. Okay, now that it finished, um, let me show you the result of that. I'm gonna move away the um, laser. And as you can see on the image, 
the square it's uh, almost burned on all the um, all the lower surface but also on the upper part of the uh, square you can see that it's completely completely transparent there is nothing burned on the top on this part and all this part from here to to the lower part is completely burned so that means the maximum power it's very high and another thing that you can see is that the lower power is not even there so i need to move up the power the minimum power so it will burn let's say about 20 percent uh, okay 20 and the maximum power let's reduce that value because it burns all over here so i'm going to reduce this to let's say oh, 20 20 up 20 down okay i'm going to create a g code again and send it to ucc and now i'm going to press go to zero to return to the same point but I'm not going to start from there remember my origin it's oh it's on top well I'm going to move away my laser on the y-axis on the x-axis sorry let's say 20 millimeters then I press 0 on, on here on this point so I can see both of the squares uh, close together and I'm going to press cycle start one more time okay it finished let me move the laser away <coughs> now if you can see we have a better degraded on the upper side but on the lower is still burning too much so that means the uh, the whites are getting better but on the dark side is not getting good and also on the about what i mentioned you about the offset you cannot see too much so that means it's good uh, let me make another test to show you that the offset that i mentioned you you can see it more clearly i'm going to use this, the same settings but on this case let me move to zero again i'm going to move away the laser one more time this time 15 millimeters uh zero the x i'm going to use the same settings i made a mistake to put this here but that's okay and on the feed rate I'm going to use 2000 so you can see the uh, the offset that I mentioned you okay create g-code and send then cycle start okay move away the laser and now if you see the square uh, it looks much better but on the edge it have a big uh, offset so it's about one millimeter offset something like that so we don't want that much offsets i just made this so you can see it and if you can see it is lighter because what i mentioned you the laser is not in touch with the material too much time so that's why it gets uh, lighter S uh, something similar like this is what we want uh, with our final uh, result okay so I'm going to press go to zero one more time move the X 15 millimeters zero the X go to the laser I'm going to return to my 1000 and if you remember here we have the minimum that uh, it was burning almost okay 
I think I'm gonna move a little up, maybe 25. Uh, but the maximum, I need to lower that value. I'm gonna say, let's, another 10%, 15%, about there. Okay, now let's uh, create the G code and send it to the GCNC. And cycle start one more time. Okay, let's put it away. And now we are starting to get a better degrading image. On the top, on the white part, it's much better. On the lower, still burning too much. But we almost got it. So let's open again this and let's reduce this value to 10% uh, more, so it will be 55. Remember, these values depend on your material. Uh, the material that I current uh, using it's MDF. The MDF burns very easily. So if you use another type of wood after you're making some of these tests, you're going to realize that the values are going to be different. Uh, okay, I'm going to create the code and send it to UCCNC. Minimize. Uh, go to zero. Move the X 15 millimeters. Out there. Zero the X and cycle start. Okay, now let's check the image. Okay, now it's looking good. You can see that we have a degrade between the white uh, on the top and the bottom, so it's looking better. We can we can still adjust a little more on the on the dark side. Uh, about there. Uh, create the G code and send it. Go to zero. About there, zero. I believe this is going to be the um, the good one. Um, set to start. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, this looks like this is looking much better on the degrading part. Okay, now let's test it with the real image. So I'm going to press go to zero. I'm going to use the top, uh, move it away another 15 millimeters. And here I'm going to make my test. So I'm going to zero X, zero Y. Now that I know these settings, I can write this down to use these settings on uh, MDF. And I'm going to load another image. Okay. Now let's try to make this on the MDF and see what happens. But this time I'm not going to use this corner. I'm going to use this one. And um, okay, now the size. This is very small, so let me make it bigger. Twenty by twenty-three. Oh, I think a little more. Thirteen by thirty-four. So it's going to take about six minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to create the code and let's run the G code. Okay, <coughs> it's finished. Now if you take a look at the image, it looks pretty nice. 
you can see a very good uh, degrading on the uh, on the sides of the face uh, on this part uh, because this part is almost white you cannot see any uh, any burn on this on these edges also on on the side of the hair so this this gray is not taken uh, in on the image uh, but if you want to you can you can increase the white uh, burning and that will that will make a little burning here so it will make it a little grayer but if you take a look at the image it looks really really nice so that's how you can adjust the values on the laser plugin with this option the grayscale uh, option we have two more options the half tone and the black and white the half tone use the full power of the laser uh, but it, it's made of little uh, um, patterns to make the the image instead of uh, making making different um, uh, values for the laser ma different power and the black and white it uh, it's the same but it it makes little uh, dots but it's using the full power of the laser so if you see the um, the laser at this feed rate is using the 49 power to make this image so if you try to use the the full power of the laser here with this uh, value you need to move up the feed rate maybe the double of the feed rate to to obtain a decent image but the problem is what i mentioned you before the offset so you will have you will have an offset on these uh, images here you can adjust the um, the um, the scan of the image so it will it will have more or less uh, points on the on the degrading of the of the image. Uh, let me show you. Let's make a half tone. Uh, sorry, it's calculating this. <laughs> so you can see it's more uh, dark. So let's leave it uh, there. And let's keep the calculation. And let's make a half tone so you can see what it does. So on this image, the um, warp is 30 millimeters. So let's finish the. I'm going to put the plugin below. I'm going to press go to zero. And. I'm going to use exactly the same point for the next engraving but of course 30 millimeters to the left uh, let's say 35 so you can see it side by side okay I'm going to use this one but I need to move up this value because otherwise it's going to get all burned on all uh, all the image. Um, I'm gonna put 35, no, 2,000. Oh, whoops! And it's going to take 13 minutes to complete. So it's going to take a while. Actually, I'm going to put it down. Great. Cool. I'm going to put it on another point of my board. And I'm going to leave the machine working. And you're going to see the final result. So I'm going to stop recording right now but first I'm going to press cycle start oh just zero zero
Okay, cycle start. So you can see on the image the grayscale came out good, uh, but the half tone have a, a little issues. Uh, and the uh, on the uh, image, so it's not very reliable to do it with the half tone. Now let's uh, let me show you about the uh, black and white. I'm going to use a uh, feed rate of 2500. To burn on the laser because on the grayscale the maximum value burns at 50 percent so <coughs> that's why i'm using 2500 remember that this if you go in um, uh, move up the value it's gonna get darker if you move down the value it's gonna get lighter and of course the details i are going to change uh, so I'm going to make the same image, 30 uh, millimeters, create a G-code, send it to the machine. And I'm going to move the laser below below the gray scale. Also I'm going to move it away. I'm going to move it away to have a, a free image. And let me verify the starting point. Okay, so 0x, zero 0y. Zero and cycle start. Okay, you see the image? <coughs> uh, the image came out good, but the problem with the image is that it have a little um, offset on the lines that I mentioned you before uh, because of the feed rate that I use but if I use a smaller feed rate a lower feed rate the image will be burned more and maybe it's not a good idea to burn it more uh, unless you have a different material maybe a different material could work better uh, that way but if you look at the image from far away it doesn't look uh, bad that's something that I also mentioned you so the offset it's important only if you look at the image very closely and remember th the image is very small so basically that's how you can adjust the laser uh, engraving plugin with the grayscale uh, the half tone is not very reliable uh, because we don't have control over the um, scan distance and uh, that's why the material gets burned a lot and um, the black and white also can work uh, for larger images and uh, it came out pretty good but the uh, issue here is that you don't have the same definition as the grayscale like, like this so it, it depends on what you want to engrave and the material you want to engrave so you have to make tests with the image um, that i'm going to include with the uh, with the video uh, the little square and um, making tests is the most important part about finding these two settings and the correct fit rate uh, so remember i make my test with uh, 1000 and 1000 leaves a very very small offset so it's a good setting you can use uh, maybe less if you want to be get a better definition but remember that the values here are going to change and um, that's it that's how this works I made another test with a uh, little different settings. Uh, I use in this case a minimum of 25 um, power, maximum of 40 power, and I lower the feed rate to 750, uh, 
750. And if you see the picture, it looks uh, much better and without the offset on the sides. So probably this will be a good setting on the feed rate to use for pictures without leaving the offset on the side. And you need to adjust the power on your machine. But of course it's up to you, you need to make some tests and see uh, what you like and if the settings are just to your material and your machine. Okay, I hope you find the information useful and uh, we we'll see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.